Welcome back to Elsinore. Coming up soon in the timeline, Father and the King plan to catch Hamlet. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I don't remember, but it's going to happen in the Great Hall. I'm probably not going to attend. I don't know. We'll see. More importantly, though, later tonight, Hamlet is going to unveil the truth before the court. Which I feel like is going to lead to everybody dying or something. It's probably going to be real bad. In the meantime, let's just see if we can find some new information. There's some sort of an event happening in the grounds between Horatio, Gertrude, and Quince. So let's head to the grounds. Maybe we can make it in time. Ah, oh, they're walking away. Wait, it's still... It's still blue. What does this, like, dark blue mean? Is that different from the light blue? Like, the chapel is blue, too. It says they're busy or something, or they're they're waiting? Quince. Ah. Ah, I think the color means that there's an event that's going to happen, but it has not happened yet. Now there's something going on in the chapel and the Great Hall. In this. My lord. <laughs> if I have your permission, Quince, I have some suggestions for what play to perform tonight. Oh, this is where Hamlet approaches Quince about uh, making the play tailored to try to get a reaction from Claudius. Uh, something appropriately sobering, something reflective. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to add a line or two myself. I'm told I'm quite handy with a goose quill. Ophelia learns about a future event in which Quince puts on the play that Hamlet designed. I don't know if that's going to happen today. Is it? Oh, that's interesting. It's listed as an unlikely event. Not impossible. It's here, but unlikely. Well, that's weird. This says it will not happen based on current conditions. So maybe it... This sounds like it, it is possible, but if I don't do anything to influence the world, it will not happen. I would have to do something, I think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but of course, my lord, I would not dream of denying you a voice. And I do so love a guest writer. What have you brought me? Here. The script. Ah. The murder of Gonzago. Fascinating. Yes, I think we can work with this. Yeah, but won't your dear uncle the king be upset? Huh. I certainly hope so. That's the end of that. Perhaps I should see if I can make it to the chapel in time for whatever's going on there. Between Horatio and Bernardo, I think it was. Ah, oh, I'm too late. Thing happening between the two ladies in the kitchen or about to happen it's a dark green well I should be able to definitely make that let's go perhaps I should speak to my mom well I can talk with them from here what am I shouting <laughs> shouting between the courtyard is there anything I actually want to say though My father died by Hamlet's hand. Uh, hmm. It might be a good idea to mention this. I don't know how they would react, really, but 
maybe it would increase the chances of Polonius not being in Gertrude's chambers. Wait, wouldn't that have already happened, the murder? I'm not sure. I'm in danger. The ghost? Oh, the affair. I can say I know that you were with Claudius before your husband's death. What would that accomplish, though? Ah. Let's say that I'm in danger. My queen! Someone is trying to kill me off, and I don't know why. Ophelia! What a terrible thing to say. You've never harmed a hair on anyone's head. What could someone have against you? That's utter nonsense. Ah, no one believes me. If you ever truly had cause to fear for your life, Bernardo would watch over you, as he does us all. You can trust the guard captain's instincts, in bold. He's the finest warrior we have at Elsinore. Queen Gertrude now believes that Ophelia believes that Ophelia is in danger. Indeed. Do I have anything more to talk to Bernardo about? I don't think so. Anyway, to the kitchen. Rosie? Do we have to talk to her, Rosie? Of course. We are of noble blood. We pay our debts, no matter how unsavory they might be. But, but I'm afraid of her. Don't be silly. She's just one woman. Ladies. Hello. Hello. <sighs> so if I turn you upside down and shake you, will all the money you owe me fall out? Uh... Not quite. Uh, we are, as it were, in a particularly delicate position. We're penniless. Uh, precisely. All those card games have drained what funds we brought to Elsinore. And Irma's trick deck didn't do us any favors either. As you've won more games than we have funds to pay, we are, in short, unable to pay you. Hmm. This is a wonderful position to be in. What? <laughs> For me? <laughs> now I have two new servant girls to help me get my work done. N now hold on just a minute. We're nobody's servants. Do I need to extract my payment from you some other way? Rip those fine clothes off your bodies and sell them, perhaps? Um? What do you need us to do? Ah, a bit here, a bit there. Uh, first, I want you both to collect some moss from that old fountain in the courtyard. Moss? Gives all of my soups a nice earthy flavor. Don't ask. After that, since you're both educated little birds, I need you to go to the gallery and find me something new to make for the Queen's birthday next month. I can't read, so you'll have to remember it for me, and come tell it to me later. And finally, I want you to gather the mushrooms that grow near the pond in the woods. About ten dozen should be enough. Ten dozen? Oh my god. What? All of that? <gasps> you can't be serious. We are women of noble families, not your scullery maids. Fool. And who do you think I am? My connections run far and wide, ladies. You know I have friends in powerful places. Either get to work, or I'll take collateral from you in any way I see fit. By force, if needed. Y yes, ma'am. Then let's get to work. Learns about a future event in which Rosencrantz and Guildenstern rummage about the gallery. Run an errand in the woods. Search the fountain. Hmm. wonder what Hamlet's doing in the chapel alone. It's an active event. Probably a praying. I guess I'm going to come with the ladies, see what they're up to. 
I mean, they're just going right here to the fountain right now, so what the heck, let's go. I'm curious what I could possibly learn from this. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not actually... It's not time yet? No, it says this event is happening now. Uh... Why is it list to me as still being... Wait. Oh, the lower garden is considered its... Wait, what? Is it because I was... Oh, it's because I was on the steps! I was on the steps to the quote-unquote lower garden. Ah, so the event popped up as soon as I officially came into this zone. So that's a good thing to keep in mind if I'm technically in a different zone than I'm supposed to be. The event might not pop up. I don't want to reach my hand in there. This fountain probably hasn't been cleaned since Ogier the Dane was alive. Well, I don't want to get my hands dirty either. Hmm. We'll need to choose some sort of objective, reasonable criteria. Uh, for example, age. I'm older, so I say you have to put your hands in the fountain. Well, I can't argue with that logic. It's so slimy. It's all over my hand. <laughs> Got some. Do you think this much is enough? Is she holding moss? Mm -hmm. I can't see her needing any more. Let's go. Quickly, before anyone more sees us making uncomely idiots of ourselves. Acquire the information, an odd duo. What exactly would I do with that information? Is it a lead? No, it's hearsay, I guess. Yeah. I spotted the ladies behaving strangely, and I think they may be up to no good. I mean, no? We know why why they're doing it. They're not up to no good. They're just repaying a debt. I think they're going to the courtyard in a second. No. No, they're not. They're going to the gallery a little bit later. So, what is this? I don't know. Let's go. Maybe they're going to confer amongst themselves. Maybe that's the event. Ooh. Kircher just went in there. Is Hamlet not there anymore, though? Oh yeah, Hamlet's back up in their chambers. I think Hamlet's being simply terrible. He really is in some sort of state. He's suspicious of us. He must know what the king asked of us. Or maybe... Do you think he's still upset with me about the way things ended between us? I thought you handled yourself like a perfectly godly woman. He couldn't be upset. Me? Godly? <laughs> well then, I suppose that makes you my angel. Now that you mention it, though, perhaps we ought to speak with Hamlet. Or we could do what we do best. Avoid all men and drink to our own renewed health. That's a good, just, life advice in general. Avoid all men. Hmm. A very compelling argument. Alright then. I'll bring the wine if you'll find us a little grassy patch somewhere. I'm sure when Hamlet's in better health, we can show him our friendship is no less true. Okay, now I think they're headed to the Royal Gallery. And something's happening in the Great Hall. It's not the event, is it? The royal family sits down to dine. Okay, that I don't care about. Hmm. Ah. Here it is. Something in German. The Book of Good Food. Hmm. But where is it? 
I don't know. I'll select something at random. There's so much in here, and it's all in German. Rosie. I've never looked at these portraits up close. Queen Astrid was beautiful, wasn't she? I heard from my father she passed away, but why did she die? <sighs> Hamlet won't say. I think it was rather bloody. I know she died a raving lunatic. Sorry. It's not the sort of thing one asks about in polite company. At least, not here. Regardless, we've done the job we came here to do. Let us head to our next task, Annan. What's going to happen in the forest path? Oh, oh, that's them, right? They're going to collect mushrooms there. Um, do I have time to do that? And get back to the unveiling of the truth? Uh... I don't know, probably not. Mm. Should I just run to the forest path? No, I, I need to be here for what's going to happen. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> Everyone, thanks for your ears. I'm pleased to inform you, uh, inform you all there will be a special show tonight. Hamlet. What exactly do you think you're doing? My dear. Yes, my dear, what's this about? It would ordinarily be rather difficult to top one of Sir Quince's excellent performances. But I assure you, listeners, that my mother's activities of late are a far more interesting drama. Oh boy. Wait, what? I finally have the proof I need. Mother. It's all contained within these pages, Mother. For the rest of you, in summary, for all her faith, my mother is not faithful. She gave her body to Claudius while my father was still living. I... No, that's not... Hamlet, stop. Now. Not only that, but Claudius had some hand in my father's death. No, not his death. His murder. Hamlet. You're making no sense, my love. Please, stop. <laughs> you mean you had no idea anyone would find out? That's what this was about, isn't it? Keeping it hidden from me. My father's death was no accident. You two planned to kill him. Admit it. Please. Silence! How dare you! You would tell lies like this in front of my court? In front of my wife? Draw your sword. Uh, uh, uh. Only if you promise it'll be a fair fight, usurper. No. The law of the kingdom is that treason is punishable by death or by cutting of the tongue. Naturally, I prefer to do things the old-fashioned way. <laughs> That's if you win. <laughs> yes. If. I'll be glad to avenge Father's dignity against you, then. Certainly no one else in this world has. On guard. Bernardo, you'll oversee the duel. My lord. Are you sure this is wise? Your nephew? I did not ask for your advice. Hamlet, you still have time to stand down. Recant what you said. This is between him and me. Leave us. Please. He is my friend, my lord. Please. He's embarrassed my wife and he's embarrassed me. Bernardo. Interfere, and I'll have you duel him to the death in my place. No more of this. Let's begin. I'm not afraid anymore. On three. One. Two. Three. It 
is done. My only son. My love. Come here, let me dry your tears. I'm sort of laughing as I'm just imagining this situation. King Claudius just murdered their son, and then they're like, oh, come here, let me dry your tears. Like, you really think they're going to find any solace in your touch when you're the one who just murdered their son? No! Don't you dare call to me. Don't even touch me. How dare you? You killed him. Hamlet dies. Queen Gertrude shatters and will not recover. Whoops. <laughs> this massive fireplace, I didn't mean to click on that. <laughs> well, isn't someone going to follow her? The death falls hard upon her, my lord. Perhaps... Stop! The rest of you handle his body. I'll follow her. Oh, Queen Gertrude now wants to destroy Queen Gertrude. Polonius, Bernardo, Lady Britt, Laertes, Lady Rosencrantz, and Lady Guildenstern now believe that Queen Gertrude was unfaithful. We learn about a future event in which Gertrude despairs. I uh, learned about a future event where the Queen is inconsolable. I know Father ought to perish on Friday evening by Hamlet's hand. But circumstances have changed. I wonder if something happened to Hamlet then. Could it be... Could I have actually saved Father this time? Wait, you mean... I wonder if something happened to Hamlet? This must be something that plays even if you're not in this room and didn't just see this happen. Because now that we know Hamlet is dead, then obviously they couldn't do anything to anybody. I feel, I feel as though I need to see him. Sorry, who? Polonius or Hamlet? Father. Polonius. <sighs> ah, my heart. Come in. Thank you. You tore me from most troubling thoughts. What happened to Hamlet? It was horrible. Though he was no son of mine, I've known the boy since he was born. I couldn't help but think of you and Laertes, of what I'd do if you came to such an end like that. It was horrible, father. But Hamlet had changed. If he hadn't been struck down, he might have, he would have done something worse. I have to hope you're right. When I cannot sleep tonight, I'll try and hold on to that. In times like this, all one can do is appreciate the living who remain. You, for instance. On that note. What have I done to warrant a willing visit from my daughter? <laughs> Whatever it was, I hope I can replicate it for future visits. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're... Um, he'll only think me insane. Oh, they're <laughs> they're going to mention I can't believe you're alive. What were you thinking about before I came in? You looked worried. Mm. Oh, sorts of idle things an old man dreams about when he begins to contemplate the end of his life. Namely, your mother. Were she still here, what she'd think of me, of the way I've lived my life. I've served the throne faithfully for so many years. Sometimes I look around and wonder what all this unflagging allegiance is worth. And I wonder if your mother would be proud of the way I've raised you and Laertes. Or if she'd wish we'd left Elsinore long ago. I know she'd be proud. You've done everything you could, father. My love. You know, Ophelia. Sometime in the future, I've been thinking I ought to take you to summer somewhere outside of Elsinore. Not now, but perhaps in a year, 
and we've made you a suitable match, and you're intended to be wed. When this Norway nonsense passes, then it's safe out there for you. You, I, and Laertes will leave these walls a small while. Oh, yes! Father... I know it doesn't make sense to you now, but I'm glad you're alive and well. I thought I'd lost you. Maybe forever. I was so scared. Lost me? Why, I'm right here. Look at me. Don't cry. Why would you fret? I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. Not for some time yet, at least. It is time. Unfortunately for now, I must ask you to leave me be. I have some rather distasteful planning I need to complete and some duties to attend to. For all the prince's ills, I would never have wished this on him. May his soul rest in God's good arms. Farewell, father. Ophelia? One last thing. If I ever... If something like this happens again and I don't survive, I want you to have something of mine. It's a key. It opens a chest in this room containing my most private belongings. I keep it on me at all times. This chest cannot be opened via any other method. It contains things which could cause people in this castle no small amount of grief if uncovered. If ever I perish, I want you to take the key from me to open this chest and burn everything inside of it. Do you understand me? He's safe in this world, but he won't be safe in the next one. Of course, father. If that's what you want. I understand. Farewell, love. Sweet dreams. I did it! Though, was not without a price. But at least for now, my father is alive. That's what matters. I'm not going to be able to save father every time. I know that. There's so much that needs to be done. And his death was only one small part of my nightmare. But, no matter the cost, being able to change his fate this much, it's a victory, albeit a small one. Even so, I won't live much longer now. Unless I find a way to stop whoever's killing me, father and I can never survive together and live on. I'll just be returned to the beginning again, and Hamlet will still be a threat to Father's life. I've got to find someone who believes me about this assassin, so I can plan further. Now believe that Polonius has a locked chest in his chambers. Now believes that fates can be changed. Learn more about Polonius. Okay, so can we still go to uh, the forest path? No? <laughs> okay. Figured, how far past are we? Not that far past. Mm. There's an event that's going to happen at... Is that the graveyard? With King Claudius, Queen Gertrude, and Horatio. I should probably be there for that. Aw, oh, now it's instead of unlikely, it's impossible. Quinn's putting on the play that Hamlet designed. Since I need to find somebody that believes in me about the assassin, I think I should just talk to everybody about it. If I to talk to some people, most people just think of being ridiculous. I don't know, let's go to the courtyard, seems like everybody's there, pretty much. No, not, not Polonius. Lady Brit, I mean, they're an asshole, but... Actually, I suspect they might be the killer. If I tell them that I know I'm going to be killed, what would that do? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should say Bernardo has summoned you. Get them questioned. Yes, that'd be good. Brit. What? Th this is an insult. How dare he waste my time? Ugh. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. 
So when is that going to happen? Because I want to talk to Bernardo about what they learned having that conversation with them. Uh, doesn't seem to be on here. Is it on there now? No? When they say they're, they're going to give them a piece of their mind, does that mean they're not going to go talk to them? I mean, to give them a piece of their mind, they have to go talk with them, though. Ugh, whatever, let's just mention the assassin. Someone is trying to kill me, maybe you'll Listen. believe me. What? Is there a punchline here? This must be a joke, right? No, someone wants me dead. Well, that's melodramatic. It's sort of a premonition, really. But I swear it's true. Hmm. I've heard of things like this before. You have? <laughs> I'm sure what's going to come out of Lady Brit's mouth next is going to be just a load of just shit. Yes, it's a form of insanity that comes on to women during times of intense pressure. <laughs> ah, hysteria. That's the word. I don't know why I thought you would help me. Lady Brit now believes that Ophelia believes that Ophelia is in danger. Mm. Have I mentioned the assassination to the ladies? I don't remember. Let's go to the ladies. I don't know why I clicked on them like I need help getting to them. They're just right over here. I'm in danger. Uh, you know, I could mention the odd duo thing. Yeah, uh, why were you rummaging around in odd places? What are you up to? I know the answer to this, but I'm curious what Gildenstern. would happen. <laughs> Who wants to know? Uh... Me? I want to know. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, it's a secret. Learns about a future event in which Rosencrantz and Guildenstern complete their mission. Okay. When's that future event? It must be one of these unlikely things. Why is it unlikely that they'll complete their mission? What went wrong? Oh, 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 the unlikely event. Bernardo questions Lady Brit is here, but it's unlikely. Why is it unlikely? Oh, hold on. I should mention I'm in danger. Hilda. Hmm? You? Certainly not, but... I've got it! Oh, I've just been struck by genius. What if I pretended to be dead just to see what would happen? 